This is Nelson, and he's a four and a half year old St. Bernard. This is his first professional grooming appointment. I'm not sure how he'll manage his first time, but let's get started and find out. Okay, buddy. You're too big for the shower. All right, Nelson. Are you gonna be okay for your first groom? Are you gonna freak out when I turn on the water? Please don't throw yourself out of the shower, okay? Please, please don't. Look at that dirty bib. Okay, it's just water. You're, you like water? You're okay. Let's start with some nasty critter because you are definitely a nasty critter. Good boy. Good boy. Please don't back out of this shower because you are too big for me to catch. Good boy so far. Good boy. So the worst of it is your chest and under your chin is really nasty. Let me turn this way. Turn. Good boy. Good boy, Nelson. Okay, I filled up another canister of nasty critter because that barely did anything to him, the first one. Good boy, you're okay. Good boy. I'm gonna drool the whole time, naturally. He took a big poop in the shop before we started. So I'm gonna have to rinse his butt. Cause I'm sure that's full of poop. It wasn't the most solid of poops. Some de-shedding shampoo. Good boy, Nelson. I have no help today, so hopefully Nelson is very good with everything because if he starts to fight me, it'll be very difficult to control this gigantic beast on my own. Hopefully you're a good boy, even though you've never been groomed before, so you're probably very confused. He's making all sorts of noises, which I think are just noises. Grunting. You better be, buddy. Okay, can I wash your face now? Wash your face. Good boy. This needs a really good scrub. I'm gonna have to wash his chest again because it's very dirty. Hey, good boy. Good boy. Okay, face. Good boy. Okay, I'm just gonna rinse his face because I don't want it to sit with shampoo and then I'm gonna wash his chest with some straight shampoo. Okay, taking some straight 
de-shedding shampoo. This has got to feel good for him because I'm assuming from all the drool sitting on his chest, it's probably made it very itchy. Right? If I don't do this, it will still stink. And then because it's white and very stained, just got that shampoo all over me, I'm going to use the whitening shampoo. You're not jumping out, don't even think about it. No. Just water. Okay, buddy. Good boy, Nelson. Good boy. Man, if you don't like this, you're really not gonna be a fan of the dryer. Turn this way. Okay, buddy, let's dry you up. Good boy. Because I've never done this dog before, and I don't 100% know what he's like for grooming since he's never been groomed before, I try to keep my head at a reasonable distance away from his, just in case he were to spin and try to bite. Not that I think that this dog would, but because I don't know him, and this is a new experience for him, you never know. So I try to have a small distance, at least, between my head and his, so if I need to get away, I have a better chance of getting away. He's all towel dried, and now we are going to go off to the drying table. Hopefully, I can get him on it. Okay, I'm going to spray him down in the stuff for dogs. Good boy. I know, you're like, what the heck are you doing to me? I'm making you smell nice because when you came in, you did not smell nice. You were pretty stinky. All of these pet grooming products can be found on my website for you guys. I've linked it in the description. I get questions all the time about where I get my stuff. So we put it all in one place for you. Oh, you're gonna like the blow dryer there for sure. I can tell you're itchy under there. don't know if you're gonna be okay with this. So let's see. First. And if you don't like it, we shall remove it. Okay, okay, let's not take the whole table down. Come here. You don't like it and we will remove it. How's that? Had a feeling the table was about to go down with you there. All right, let's see what he does. If he panics, maybe this won't be possible. We shall see. Okay, since he is not panicking, I'm going to switch to the pointed dryer because that will get more hair out and it will also dry him a lot quicker. If you can tell, he is very low on the table because if he decides to jump off, I don't want him to get hurt. And I also don't want him to take the entire table with him.
Okay, so I'm gonna try to turn him so I can do the other side. You're a big suck. Okay, you're okay. You're okay, buddy. Oh, you're okay. Are you, are you still wet here? He's mostly dry on this side, maybe just a little bit damp, but he's not having a good time. Look at all this hair. Look at it all. Look at that all. Okay, let's try to turn you. Hopefully, you'll be fairly easy to turn. He is about 90% dry. He's got some damp spots, but he's really freaking out about the dryer and I don't want to keep stressing him out. So I'm just going to start brushing. Hopefully I can get through some of this because it's quite matted. Please don't get upset with me. Good boy. Look at all that hair. Good boy. It's okay. Hey, I'll give you another treat in a minute. So he has his testicles, which is part of the reason why he doesn't want me drying the back end, because he doesn't want me near them. It's very common for unaltered male dogs to act this way when you're grooming them. It's okay, it's okay. Please don't start barking for brushing as well now, okay? I feel like it's coming. I feel like you're about to start. Oh, well, you're gonna back up so I can't get it, eh? Typical. Okay, under your chest is quite a mess from all of your drool. It's very compacted. If you could keep your head up, it would be super helpful. Something tells me you don't want to be helpful. Sorry, bud. Got some matting there. Before we turn you, are you going to allow me to clip your nails? No? Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Jesus. I see your foot. Good boy. No. Stay. 
stay. You are compacted as heck in there, buddy. It's not nice to get this out. That's why it's stunk in here. Because it's so compacted and full of your drool. Dried up over and over again. Okay, I think we finally got that all out. Can I shave your paw? Good boy. Good boy. Okay, buddy. Can you just stay so I can do this properly, please? That would be greatly appreciated. Nice drool. That's great. Okay, buddy. I'm not gonna use the undercoat rake on him just because I think it's going to do more damage. It's just going to rip the hair out. He's not really shedding much anymore. I got the majority of his coat out with the dryer and the brush. So he is good. Take this off. I'm just going to spray him down today in spring rain, especially on your bib, because your bib is the smelliest part. And that's it, Nelson is all finished. I'm gonna let him outside. Look at him, he's trying to get out. Hey, who? Okay, buddy, okay. There's still drool all over your bib. Nelson did so well for his first appointment, and he looks amazing. Remember, I groom all of my clients at no charge. So if you'd like to support my work, all you have to do is hit that subscribe or follow button. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again in a few days.